Hi, I'm Hilary Victoria and welcome back to my Crime and Policing channel. In today's session, we are looking at a case today in relation kind of to media and criminology. So this case is about a very famous person in the UK who their crimes were the biggest I've ever seen in the media for a long, long time when they, when they came out. So if you are studying A-levels, BTECs, your NTFEs or maybe your access to HEs. There are units based all about this and you might need to know the information in here. In terms of those of you studying PCDA, DHEP, PPD and everything else, case studies are always good in terms of when you are compiling stuff for your assessments. So if you're looking at protecting vulnerable people or managing risk or risk society and its implications, this could be a case study for you. It's almost like I memorised all of the um, assessment criteria. I do, I'm a nerd. Anyway, so this video, like I said, is about some celebrity whose crimes literally shook the entire nation. This person, so we're looking at Ian Watkins, Ian David Carslake Watkins, not the guy from Steps, the guy from Lost Profit. So Ian Watkins was a big deal in the late 90s and the early 2000s this guy was a massive deal on the you know the, the rock scene in the world internationally he was playing massive stages at festivals he was on Kerrang magazine and things like that he was the biggest deal probably to ever come out of Wales um since Tom Jones and this guy went from being a global rock star to being probably the most hated man in the UK ever. So his crimes were that horrific that it shocked the judges and the criminal justice teams working on these cases. They were that horrific. He'd used his position as being this global superstar to manipulate and to abuse people. And in such a way that these victims had absolutely no chance of standing up for themselves because they were children and animals. This guy seriously bad news so like i said we're talking about ian watkins born in 1977 in wales he um yeah he used his position as a global superstar to manipulate and to commit these crimes so there had been plenty of reports about this person made to the police between 2008 and then 2012 but they hadn't been taken seriously one woman in particular she was Ian Watkins' partner prior to 2008. And probably one of the reasons they broke up, and she didn't say this in the interview, was that he'd shown her an image of a young child, a girl, and said that he'd drugged her, so he'd rubbed cocaine into her gums and touched her sexually. She called the police, they did nothing about it. It took them three months to take a statement from her about these crimes. And even then, nothing happened, it was jobbed off. So she continued trying to contact the police and say, this guy's dangerous. He's told me this, this and this. And they kind of thought she was just kind of a, like a psychopathic ex-girlfriend who had been like, I don't know, rebuffed by him or something. So they didn't actually take her seriously. But she was trying to tell them that this guy was bad news. I also know somebody else. Um, I won't give their name because, you know, they might not want me to. They knew um, Watkins as kind of like a, um, they weren't like friends or anything, but they had correspondence over things like Tumblr, whatever, and this was a guy. And he'd said as well, this guy's wrong. He phoned the police and said, look, I've got this memory stick thing from Ian Watkins's laptop. I've heard there's stuff on this. I don't want to touch it. Gave it to the police and nothing happened. Nothing happened. What? So, yeah. So the police forces involved were South Yorkshire, Bedfordshire and South Wales police. All three forces have the, they put themselves up. So they reported themselves to the IOPC and said, well, something definitely, we dropped a clanger here. Please come and investigate us because we've done anything better. And um, I know I think one detective from South Yorkshire, a few from South Wales, not sure about Bedfordshire, were investigated and whatever happened because of that afterwards. So finally in 2012, Watkins house gets raided or whatever and they recover his technology oh dear there's 27 terabytes worth of data that they get from him what 27 terabytes by the way is bloody massive that's more 
than like four or five times the amount of data they could store in the whole of South Wales police force. That's a massive amount of data they had to pick through. So amongst this data, there were at least 90 images of child sexual abuse, two of them being the highest level of, of abuse and 22 images of bestiality, which is sexual abuse toward animals. I mean, this is quite a lot of stuff for someone who tried to maintain his innocence, right? And in fact, on a phone call he made to somebody, um, a fan or a partner, while he was in remand, was that he didn't understand what the fuss was about because the baby didn't get hurt and um, nobody actually got hurt. And he didn't understand what the fuss was about, and he's innocent, he's not a paedophile, and that he only didn't he only pleaded guilty because he didn't want to go to trial. That's what he was saying. Now then, in court, a very different story played out. So in court, it well, he was charged with these offences. He pleaded guilty eventually to 13 counts of sexual abuse and uh, one count of bestiality. Now, in sexual abuse, there was um, attempted rape of a child, sexual assault of a child. In fact, I've got a list here, so let's have a look. Um, attempted rape, sexual assault of a child under 13, conspiring to rape a child, three counts of sexual assault involving children, seven involving taking, making or possessing indecent images of children, possessing an extreme pornographic image involving a sex act on an animal, and um, he did plead not guilty to rape, but there you go. Um, an absolute catastrophic amount of offences. So bad that actually the worst ones were about um, the assault and rape of a baby. So this is what he was charged with in court. Disgusting, disgusting behaviour. But he wasn't alone in this. So he had some people who were charged alongside him too. Now these people are known as woman A and woman B in the news because their identities have been kept uh, out of the news because of the children involved. Because the children involved were their children. Woman A and woman B were the mothers of these children that were abused and raped. It's disgusting. Uh, woman A um, was charged with 15 years in prison. Woman B, 17 years in prison. And the stuff that they did was horrific. So they assaulted their own children. They... Um, sexually assaulted their own baby for the gratification of Watkins which they pleaded guilty to and woman A like I said got 15 years in, in court she was very remorseful and said that she'd been manipulated by Watkins uh, kind of blinded by this star power she wanted him to like her to you know to be his she wanted to be his so she did whatever he, wa he wanted her to do so she could be his partner woman b um in the footage shown well the judge said she showed obvious gratification from what she'd done and she got 17 years the children obviously got taken away from these mothers they would never be able to keep their children after something so disgusting as this um and they are in prison as well like i said 15 and 17 years so yeah the judge said this is the most horrific thing he'd ever seen and that it was kind of a, the evidence was so, well, overwhelming that they didn't want to need a trial anyway. It's so overwhelming and, and that's what happened. In terms of Watkins in court then, and this is the kind of person that the judge said he was calculating, manipulative and showed no remorse for his actions. Couldn't give a monkey's. And like I said on that phone call in, in um, um, remand, is like, yeah, I didn't even do it. Like... Uh, no one got hurt, I'm not a paedophile, I'm only saying I'm guilty to get out of trial. Literally no remorse for what I'd done. Complete narcissist, psychopathic behaviours. In court, his defence said that he'd been on drugs since he was 30. It's not as like if you're on drugs since you were 12, is it? He'd been on drugs since he was 30 and he was obsessed with sex and filming himself having sex. None of this gives you the, the right to assault a child or an animal, Ian Watkins. Um, and that he couldn't remember what had happened. That old chestnut, you couldn't remember. Like, I got out, went out last night, I got really drunk, I couldn't remember eating an entire Domino's by myself. I can't remember, it's not an excuse. Because clearly you have done that. Um, so, yeah, th this was what pre presented in court, these supposed mitigating factors that he was on drugs, he can't remember, he was addicted to this 
obsession with himself having sex. Thankfully, the judge had none of that. And they were like, this is the most horrendous thing, abhorrent act I've ever seen ever. You are going to prison for a very long time. And he got 35 years in total. So I think it was like 26 plus some time on license, which equated to about 35 years. And like I said, 17 and 15 years for the women involved as well, who the judge said that woman B didn't even treat a child as a human being. It's just absolutely vile. So the victims, hopefully, in these crimes have got the support they needed afterwards. They're being looked after and they're no longer... I hope they, I hope they just can't remember it, to be honest. I hope they were that young they don't remember it. But so the victims involved, hopefully now, have got on to be healthier and better lives. And in terms of the media and these types of crimes, it's proven that just because you're a celebrity doesn't mean you can get away with stuff. You won't be protected by the media or the police. And the fact that the police miss these opportunities has learnt lessons being led from the police as well. So because this person was a celebrity, they kind of wrote it off as being like an obsessed fan or something, trying to cause trouble. But in fact, if they just listened to some of the complaints coming in from uh, Magic and others who had complained, they might have prevented some of these horrendous crimes from happening to these young children. He'd use his star power to manipulate people, not unlike some of the other people that we'll discuss in later videos, such as Jimmy Savile so, and Rolf Harris. They'd use this star power to manipulate people and to perform these disgusting acts because they could. Is it power and control? Is it lust? What is it? Is it addiction? But whatever reasons these people committed these crimes, for these people in this case today, Watkins and his two complices, they have now been given their time in prison and will hopefully um, show some remorse for what they've done. So that's the case of Ian Watkins. Um, there's plenty of info about it on the internet if you want to go and have a look. And like I said, um, yeah, there you go. If you've been affected by anything in this, please have a look at some of the um, links in my chat. And yeah, that's it for today. Look after yourselves, look after each other, and please don't commit any crimes.